I would like to welcome you, family, friends, faculty, to the graduation ceremony of the class of 2001. As a representative of this graduating class, I would like to thank all of you who have helped us along on our journey thus far. Parents, thank you for your memorable acts of love and kindness. Faculty, thank you for your patience and encouragement. I would personally like to thank each and every one of my 34 classmates for the unique impact each has had on my life. I will never forget any of you. When asked to speak about leadership today, I kind of drew a blank. What kinds of things can I tell such a diverse group of individuals about leadership? To answer this question, I knew there must be a broader meaning for the term leadership than I was aware of. So I went to my trusty Webster's New International Dictionary and found this definition for the word leader. A leader is a person or an animal that goes before to guide or show the way, or one who proceeds or directs in some action, opinion, or movement. So a leader can have a wide variety of attributes. A leader can be a motivator, maybe a good listener. A leader could be a perfectionist or an encourager. A leader could also be a good communicator. Even following can be a good form of leadership. In some way or another, we can all be good leaders and good ones if we just figure out what we are best at. Although none of us excel in all aspects of leadership, I personally know that every one of us can be a great leader in our own unique way. So now I challenge all of you to find out what kind of a leader you are and use your gifts to the best of your ability. Good luck to you all in the future, and I hope all your dreams come true. short and sweet for all of those, myself included, who are often bored to tears and forced to listen to a long speech. <laughs> the millennium is here. Mankind has passed, passed that benchmark. The year 2000 AD, during which the second coming would take place, Y2K would destroy the interactive world. Aliens would come to our planet with Elvis Presley as their leader to save the human race from the apocalypse. <laughs> Or Earth would be blown away by a giant asteroid, everything on it destroyed in an eye blink. None of these things happened, however, and the world has continued on in its daily grace, while we human beings must have something else to look forward to. There will be problems in this new millennium, granted not as big as that of Armageddon, but problems nevertheless. There will be, some will be big enough to involve the world, others will be getting the taxes on time. How we deal with these problems reveals the depth and strength of our character. I'm not going to stand up here and preach about being a model for society, but I will say that your dreams, those longings and ambitions that you have made reality in your head, are things that will not fall into your lap like leaves blown carelessly from a tree. We, as did our ancestors, as well as our descendants, live in a world in which too many dreams clash and then fade away because the creators did not have enough guts enough grit to see them through. It will be your character, exactly who you are once you get past the games and masks we put on for society that will make your life a success or failure.
Here is Mrs. Kaplinger's bell. Mr. Kaplinger's. May I have your attention, please? May I have your attention? <laughs> Mrs. Stagmeyer's whistle, or Mrs. Sheever getting a bright red face and her voice start, starting to crack. The teachers of this school have been trying to get our attention for years. They have been trying to get us to realize the importance of knowledge. Since my speech is supposed to be all about scholastics and learning, I figured I should give credit where it is due. The teachers of this school are simply amazing. Day in and day out, they are setting goals, even if that means receiving a hand to their paper at 9.30 at night. These teachers are willing to do just about anything to help their students. They come in early, stay late, receive phone calls in the middle of the night about a physics assignment, and I know that one's for sure. <laughs> These teachers sacrifice a lot just for the satisfaction of seeing us succeed. Spring Grove High School offers its students an excellent opportunity to learn and to participate. I just want to give the students one bit of advice. Take advantage of what this school has to offer while you still can. As graduating seniors, we have come to a crossroad in our lives. We can look at it as both an end and a beginning. It is the end of our high school I'm not really going to use the crossroads speech. That speech has been used many times, and my sister directly told me not to use that speech. <laughs> but it is true that we, have, that we have not come to the end of our learning. It is important that we must continue our search for knowledge, no matter how you do this, whether college, job, tech school, or just through living life. In this age of tech, technological advancement, it is ever more critical that we seek truth and knowledge. We must also be able to distinguish what is true from what is false. With information so readily available with the internet, this is more and more important. It is also important that we stay, always stay curious and continually wondering. We must continue to question the world around us, be willing to seek the answers to these questions. With this pursuit of truth and knowledge, we must also remember to look back at the past for guidance into the future. We must look to our past so that we do not make the same mistakes as are made in history. While we pursue this life of learning, we must be willing to keep an open mind to new ideas and new happenings. Without this tolerance to these new ideas, we will never be able to move forward. Where would we be if nobody accepted the ideas of Thomas Jefferson, Aristotle, Socrates, Ben Franklin, Martin Luther King Jr., and, with computers being more important in our daily lives, Bill Gates. Just think of where the world would be if nobody listened to Bill Gates' ideas. Would computers still take up an entire room and cost millions of dollars? There is a saying that a little learning is a dangerous thing. It is important to keep looking deeply for answers rather than skimming the surface and finding easy answers. For a man who knows not, and knows that he knows not, is a fool.
the big jobs and we make the big money. When we look back now, we are so still be funny. When we still remember everything we learned in school. Still be trying to make every single rule. The little brainy boy may be the star program man. We'll have to find a job that won't interfere with the ten. I keep, keep thinking that it's not to fly. Keep on thinking it's a time to fly. Miss Sarkis. Jamie two tries because we ran a stop sign his first time. I also heard Jenny had some problems finding Caledonia. 
and Laura locked her keys in her car five times. <laughs> then the time before we got a license, when I put Carl's truck in a ditch at his farm. Sorry, Stephen, my thought. <laughs> All those times have been fun and very memorable. When you go out next year and start the life after high school, I know we will still be making memories together like we did in the past and making memories with new friends and different people. The one thing I want to say to all of my classmates is that no matter what happens, never forget that we will always be there for each other. I know I always will be. When you go out into the real world, it sounds scary, doesn't it? Make sure you be of service to each other. Not only to the friends we have now, but also to the friends we are sure to make. This is one of the most important things in your life. I'd also like to give you some of my own personal advice. Sounds even scarier, huh? <laughs> Some of us have an idea of what we're going to do in the fall. Very few of us know what's going to happen in five years. No matter what you're doing in the future, going on to further education, getting a job, or even eating a steady diet of government cheese and living in a van down by the river, <laughs> always give things a try. No matter what, the only true failure is not trying at all. I was also thinking of all the many friends we have in the audience. The underclassmen that we spend time with in class, music, sports, and an everyday life. I'd like to leave them with a little bit of advice. One important thing I've learned through high school is that no matter, no matter how many times someone tells you that high school goes by fast and you'll be seeing it before you know it, you would think they're lying. I thought they were. But let me tell you, they are so right. The years flew by for me and they're going to fly by for all of you. Make sure that you have fun in high school. Just like I told the seniors, give everything a try. Try a new sport, go out for a play, trying out for speech. Don't worry, Pastor Jim will try very hard to get you out for speech. Believe you me. <laughs> High school's the time to try everything so you can discover what you enjoy doing. I would again like to thank everyone for showing up today. On behalf of the Spring Grove Senior Class of 2001, I'd like to give a big and many thanks to all the teachers and parents out there. You could never have done it without the constant help, support, and love you all gave us. I would like to wish my classmates the best of luck and whatever you do in the rest of your lives.
I haven't done that for a 